So we did have one submission on the Plant Based Cyclist Facebook page from <coughs> from John. He says, <coughs> John says, what are your must-have foods to be strong on the bike? And second question, how to recover quicker from tough efforts? So let's let's take the first one. What are your must-have foods to be strong on the bike? Must-have foods for being strong on the bike. Um, I think the biggest thing as far as when you're out riding is making sure just that you're eating enough and so calories. Yeah, um, because if you if you don't have that, if you don't if your muscles don't have that energy in order to push the pedals, you're just you're, it's not going to be there. Yeah. Um, so you, your body is reliant, um, especially after an hour, hour and a half, um, on bringing in outside, you know, bringing in calories from your digestive system that you need to be putting into you. So um, if you're not doing that, uh, you're going to start to suffer. Um, so, yeah, I, and, you know, that comes down to when you're on the local group ride, even when you're out by yourself uh, or in a race, consciously making the decision to eat early and eat often. Um, because if, if you don't start early and if you're not eating on a consistent basis, your body's going to go through periods of time where it's going to be, um, depleted of energy and then it, and then it's going to have times where it's going to have to be trying to process a lot. So, um, I try to eat if I'm just out training and especially in the winter when it's hard and you got gloves on and stuff, try to eat every like 45 minutes or so. Um, maybe, you know, occasionally I'll just, I'll push it out to an hour, yeah. but, uh, if I'm raising, I'm trying to bring in any, every, you know, as much as I can every like 30 minutes, mm. um, just so that you have just a constant fuel supply to your muscles. Right. Because let, let's break this down a little bit more. Let's get into a, a little bit more nitty gritty into exercise physiology. Mm -hmm. You have, you know, you have glycogen, you have sugars, essentially. Mm -hmm. You, let's say you eat something, those sugars can go, let me see here. One of three places blood sugar muscle glycogen or liver glycogen mm -hmm. and so if you sufficiently are you if you're sufficiently topped off if your tanks are topped off going into a race what that basically means is your liver glycogen is topped off your fuel tanks are topped off and your muscle glycogen is sufficiently topped off yeah. and if you just eat something an hour uh an hour before race your your sugar your blood sugars are probably up there too which is what you need before a race yeah so and those stores will get you, you know, will get you through the first hour, an hour and a half. And that's why, you know, most, uh, well, NRC crits and stuff, you can make it through and, you know, put a goo in your pocket and you're fine. Mm -hmm. um, but even though those are high intensity, but they're going to be an hour and a half or so on length. Mm -hmm. um, but you get into like the Rochester Twilight Crit where it's two hours. You definitely want to have something in your really? pocket. Um, it's, is that two hours for Cat 1, 2? Uh, it was a Pro 1. Pro 1. Yeah. So you want to... Yeah. Because otherwise you're gonna be feeling it at the yeah. end. You're gonna start to, you know, get a little not dizzy, but uh, which, hard to pay attention yeah. to what's going on. Which at the end of the race is <laughs> of utmost importance. Sure is. But but certainly one of the things to keep in mind is we want to try to spare the muscle glycogen and the liver glycogen as long as possible. Mm -hmm. So the way you do that, one of the ways you do that is you eat early and often mm -hmm. so that that food breaks down in your stomach and enters your bloodstream so your muscles can use that that sugar in your bloodstream first make sure it's a slow drip of, of yeah. sugar in your blood does that make sense yeah and i think it's you know a lot of people initially rely on just your innate um you know hunger sensations when you're out riding like oh i'm hungry now i should probably eat and unfortunately that just it happens too late um, and you know, computers have functions where you can set alarms on them, where they can go off every so many calories or, mm. or so that it calculates that you've burned. I think, um, but uh, you know, or I last winter, I on my bars I wrote drink and eat, um, just so every time I looked down I had that reminder mm. um, because you have to consciously remind yourself um, that you need to eat because unfortunately your subconscious just kicks in a little too late. Yeah. Yeah.